Yes, you can use a dishwasher hose to create an ambient soundscape or an ambient drone. Let me show you how. The first thing you'll need is a dishwasher hose. I just mean a regular dishwasher drain hose. You can get it if you're in the U.S. at the Home Depot or Lowe's or someplace like that. All right, once you have your dishwasher hose, you're going to set up to record in a fairly big space. And then you're simply going to swing the hose around to create a whistling sound. Let me show you how it's done. Here we go. All right, pretty cool, huh? The main thing you're actually going to have to watch for when you record the dishwasher hose, when you're swinging it around, is to keep it from hitting the ceiling. Anyway, I've got Logic Pro 10 set up here, and um, let's hear what the dishwasher hose sounds like in Logic. Yeah, pretty much the same. So it doesn't sound much like an ambient soundscape. Let's add some effects to make it happen. The first, thing, the first thing I'm going to do, sorry about that, is add a noise gate. And that is because in this recording, I do have some quiet spots and there is some ambient noise and I wanna knock that down to keep things a little quieter. Uh, you may or may not need this, but just know that that's an option if you do need to knock the ambient room noise down. Here we go. Sound, sounds about the same. Next thing we're going to do is add a compressor. I felt like I needed to add one because here in the middle, you can see that the waveform gets very quiet. And so I'm using a compressor to bring that level up. What I did simply was select the Type U Fatten preset from Logic. And then I adjusted the threshold and the output gain over here on the right hand side just to uh, kind of match things where I wanted it. Let's listen to that here in the quiet part. Okay, and it, do, it, it does get quieter, but it does even it out some. The next thing I want to do is add a delay. And I selected the delay designer and used the electric delay preset under the warped category. And I think it sounds kind of cool. Listen to this. All right, we're kind of into like tornado hurricane category. <laughs> it sounds kind of like a wind. Um, I wanted to spice it up a little bit from there, so I added the Ensemble plugin that Logic comes with, and I selected the Symphonic 5 voice preset. Let's uh, check this out. So pretty cool, when I turned it on, you kind of heard it shift back and forth in the stereo field. All right, now for the good stuff. Space Designer, my favorite. All right, here we go. So what I did was select the Space Dissolve preset under the Warped Effects, Moving Spaces. Here it is down here, Space Dissolve. And um, I didn't really do too much to it. I'm looking here, and yeah, I pretty much left it as is. And let's check it out, hear what we have going on. Uh, oh, yeah, the one thing I did do is pull dry all the way down. So let me let me leave the dry up here, and then I'm going to pull it down. Oh, yeah, that sounds, sounds pretty cool. I like it. Space Dissolves, uh, you know, it's got, it's got an, an IR impulse file. And actually, you might try... Put it, putting it down to half speed and see what you get. Let's check that out. Yeah, that's nice. You actually get a little bit more low end to the overall tone. Um, now, that being said, with the low end, I decided I didn't want a lot of low end. So I decided to go with a channel EQ 
and knock out, you know, look at this curve here. So I've got a, a high pass filter set and I'm knocking everything out below 325 hertz. And then I've got a little rise here and then a cut at about 1K. And then I'm knocking out a lot of the high end to kind of muffle the tone a little bit. So we're not going to have a lot of low end and it's going to be a little muffled. Check this out. All right, pretty sweet. And then finally, if I was going to do a full mix with this track and other tracks, I'd probably have a space designer on the uh, either the master bus or I would set up a reverb bus to add reverb to the entire mix. So let's check that out with, again, a uh, seven-second uh, Mike, Michaelis Nave. I'm not sure how you pronounce that, but, you know, nice long reverb tail. So it's reverb on reverb. Check this out. All right, there you have it. A quick way to take a dishwasher hose, turn it into a really nice sounding ambient soundscape or ambient drone. You could really build on this to, to create a pretty interesting ambient song. All right, there you have it. Um, if you're interested, go ahead and subscribe to Chords of Orion. I'll have more updates coming pretty much on a weekly basis, ambient guitar techniques, uh, more general ambient recording techniques like today, and also information about my ambient guitar music. And you can also download uh, any Chords of Rhine ambient guitar music here. And in the meantime, I'll see you all on the next video.